Hey Georgia, this is a quick video on how to upload and post a new blog article. I'm logged into the dashboard of Mr. Duck Cleaner, as you can see, and you'll want to go over to the menu on the left and where it says post, hover over that and then come down to add new. This is the latest article you sent, uh, fall season and indoor air quality. So the very first thing I like to do is come in here and click on paste as text. That gets rid of all the formatting that might have been carried over from a text editor, Word, whatever you originated the uh, document in. Let me go over here and copy that to the clipboard. And then I paste it here. Just make a couple of really quick changes here, if you don't mind. Um, and then I'm going to cut this and use that as the title. So I'll come up here to the Add New Post, click on that, and then I'm going to take this space out and bring it all the way to the top. Next thing I want to do is, is click on a category or categories, so I'm just going to say uh, Air Quality for this one. And then I'm going to click on Set Featured Image. And I'm going to go find that on my hard drive here. And that's going to set that as a featured image now. So you'll know uh, these feature images for the blog, uh, I always make 800 by 800 by 72 pixels of resolution. So in the future, when you come up with a new article and you need an image, just make sure that you uh, save it as a JPEG and make it 800 by 800 uh, in whatever your favorite um, graphic software is. Um, and then I usually put a title here, um, Fall Cleaning, I don't know, put something descriptive in there um, and then set featured image by going down there to the lower right hand corner and clicking on that. And then I'm going to publish this. And then you'll notice if you go back to uh, visit website and you go to blog, there's that new one right there. It's the one I just posted. And by making the uh, thumbnail 800 by 800, it makes everything uniform here. Uh, you can see some of these older ones that I didn't do. Uh, those are all different shapes and sizes, but uh, these last two I did. And uh, so if you make them 800 by 800, that's the optimal size, and they load fast, and they look good, and it keeps everything uniform. Probably no need to go back through these old images and try to resize them, but uh, anyway, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.